I was like just about to say we're getting really good at this, and then I go to play the intro again because I hit the wrong button. Why don't you show the the folks at home what you have on that yes. little iPad? I, I I don't have I mentioned it before. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, I blogged about this. If you go to timmyboy.com, but basically, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yay! <laughs> but basically, the iPad is running a program called Custom Keypad, so it can send keyboard shortcuts to the laptop that actually changes the shots. So Wirecast. everything we want to talk about today, he's got a button for, and it's going to come up behind hit the us. the button, and I play the intro five times because I this hit the is, wrong button. This is stuff I, I is well beyond me. Yeah, I can barely keep up with WordPress, which is what we're going to talk about today. It is. We we have lots of WordPress stuff to talk about. Which and we've heard through the Twitter that DS106 Radio rules, but it's this not is about. not about DS106 Radio. It's not. Though we love. Uh, Dr. Garcia, and I was on the radio last yeah. night. Yeah. So UMW Blogs. UMW Blogs, you just got done doing a bunch of major updates. Uh, this was something yeah. that you were worried about for a while, I think. It was. Uh, Martha and me joke all the time because we have about 100 and something plus, uh, plugins and another 180 themes. You've mm -hmm. seen, you've been going through the themes. And we have haven't upgraded since December, six months passed. All these problems we were having, um, you know, we were like, look, we're not going to touch anything. So I thought when we came to it and I upgraded the 60 some odd plugins and themes and the thing that it was going to break, so everything was going to break. It was running like 3.0? It was running 3.0. So 3 it was two versions I had to go yeah. up. And nothing, it was absolutely yeah. seamless. And in the process, we retired a couple of old gold plugins. Mm -hmm. uh, Anarchy Media Player, which is something we discovered back in 2007, mm -hmm. 2006. And we used it for about five years, and it hadn't been updated since this November of 2008. Wow. So for three years, and yeah. that was a bear. But that plugin is put to rest. And the cool thing is, mm -hmm. is that um, Chris from Longwood mm -hmm. actually pointed out on in a comment of all things. <laughs> pointed I out. I knew. I knew you were going to come back to the comments. That hey, look, Viper Video Quick Tags right. actually takes all the short code that Anarchy Media Player and makes it solid YouTube video. So we yeah. probably had thousands of YouTube videos that were now short code. Mm -hmm. Well, Chris's link to Viper's Quick Tags allows us to convert everything seamlessly. Yeah. And what's nice is Viper Quick Tags works out of the box and it works for um, Blip, Vimeo, YouTube. It still uses short codes, which I'm kind of afraid of. Mm -hmm. One of the things I found with uh, Viper's quick tags that I didn't like is, if you go to YouTube now, YouTube has that kind of, that tag that's like Y-O-U dot or T dot right. B-E, it's short like a short link. Uh -huh. But if you take that and put it in uh, Viper's quick tag, it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. We, so, long story short, we got rid of user themes, which allowed us to edit individual themes, uh -huh. which you couldn't do in WordPress multi-user. That's gone, because you can do it now in the network admin. Right. Um, we got rid of Akismet, That's which the is spam a spam filter. Spam filter. Yeah. Reason being is uh, when we found when we asked back in December, they said it was going to be seven hundred fifty bucks a month per month per month yeah. for us to actually keep it going, and that's more than we pay for hosting. Mm -hmm. So. Nix that. Now, Akismet is the, that's from, from the people who created WordPress. Yeah, but a separate company, Automatic. Separate. Automatic. Okay. Now, ironically, Automatic also was part of the TypePad anti-spam filter, uh -huh. which is an alternative to Akismet. You can see it here. Right. Um, and I guess Matt Mullenweg developed this and then gave it to TypePad and they open sourced it. <laughs> now, it does much of the same things. I don't know if it's as good as Akismet. It does much of the same things. Problem is, is right now UMW Blogs, this is throwing an error. Okay. So we're looking into that. But in the meantime, we're playing with something else that um, Andrea R. turned us on to. It's called Comments for Cookies. Okay. Is it Cookies for Comments? Cookies for Comments. Cookies for Comments. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is it. And this is the plugin. I'm playing with this right now. UMW Blogs is only running on um, Cookies for Comments. So this is a spam filter. This is too? a spam filter, and okay. and it's Doncha. Doncha was behind developing WordPress multi-user. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a pretty awesome, dude. And he can't always has had this thing of like, if you get the spammers before they even get to your site through Apache. So this is some crazy thing with Apache CSS images timing for them to get, and it kind of tries to calculate what's a spam and what's not. Yeah. I, hmm. I, I'd have to leave it to someone smarter than me to understand why and how it works, but well, so far it's looking like it's working. Yeah, and with something as big as UMW Blogs, you would think that it doesn't take very long to notice whether a spam filter is yeah, working or not. I've been watching that feed for yeah. comment wide, and so far we had less today than we did yesterday with just anti we type in anti spam. Okay. Now I don't know if there's going to be some critical thing that happens and we get thousands of spam, right. but 
that's why I have to watch it. Yeah. So I would really like for us to get you know this and Typehead empty spam mm -hmm. and a couple of things working together. Yeah. Um, but right now Multiple we'll have to layers see. Of it. Yeah. Right. But yeah, that's great though. And Akismet, you know, it's been good to us for many a year, but. You know, that's just too much money. Right. I don't know. I mean, we would pay a hundred, even two hundred bucks a month. But well, seven fifty. They're they're, they're going for, I guess, businesses or something. Or maybe yeah. uh, there's even other educational institutions with much more money than we have. <laughs> there know, are, and I know tens some are of paying thousands for them. of students. Yeah. I mean, it's a matter of scale. We were talking about this earlier today. That's right. And it's just you know, with Mary Washington, you know, a little over four thousand students. It's just we're yeah. a small liberal arts university, and we just don't have the money to shell out for something like a spam filter where we're paying we would be paying more for that than the hosting for the entire system yeah and our budget as a group is so small that right. we would come out of our budget we'd be left with nothing yeah so it just wouldn't be worth it for us and I frankly I think it's a little bit of price gouging on the part of uh, Akismet well it, it it's good for us to test out other plugins too, to right. know what's out there and to yeah. play around with it it's like so. being in the 7-eleven after the earthquake yeah <laughs> so what, <laughs> <laughs> so what else is new um, new dashboard. New course, dashboard. I mean, with 3.2 from 3.1, they'd switch yeah, up the dashboard a little bit. It, it's kind of cleaner. I mean, yeah. I like 3.2 a lot. It's a clean dashboard. Um, we're going to have to do some of the different, we're going to spend some time probably doing some new support material. Mm -hmm. The really cool thing about um, 3.2 in my mind is the network admin. Network admin. Because now yeah. you can get in there and it kind of breaks down the themes. And if you're a network admin for a WordPress multi site, it breaks down the site where if you change the URL, it changes throughout the edit spaces of all those different database spaces. Mm -hmm. um, and it just gives you a lot better kind of look and feel of the, over the individual sites and over editing the individual themes, mm -hmm. which is like what user themes did. And it's just clean and really nice. So, yeah. And also, um, we did new blog defaults. So we have a plug in there called new blog defaults, which okay. allows you know blog world to be over, overwritten to something like links and okay. make sure all the time zones are the same for all the blogs and yeah. just basically opens up links and sets the certain you things tidy up the how discussion. you want something to look at out yeah, of the box exactly yeah. and so that works cleanly cool and it didn't work cleanly for us in the previous mm -hmm. version um the other thing that's really cool i think is now with wordpress multi-site is now we have something called multi-network and that's a plugin by john james or james john jacoby right and that's a plugin which allows what we did with longwood mm -hmm to actually keep going and what we do with Faculty Academy is, you know, Word Unity Blogs has several networks within it mm -hmm. of different map domains that have their own kind of WordPress blogs right. space. So we're going to be experimenting with that to take the old original UMW blogs, which was called ELS blogs, uh -huh. and we did that in the kind of 2006, 2007, and we're going to try and import that all into its own network within yeah. UMW blogs as an archive. Yeah. So Very that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, let's see if that works. Definitely. The, there's other new things that I think we're catching up on, but they, they've they been around for a while, and we're just yeah. now getting to start using that's them. Right. Custom post types I'm excited about. Yeah. Um, that and I've never used them. Yeah, I'm, no. I haven't used them yet, but I see a lot of potential for them because instead of just saying I'm going to create a post or a page, those were the two types of things you could do with WordPress. Now yeah. you can create plugins that say, all right, I'm going to create an event. And an event is its own type of post. Similar yeah. to like with Tumblr, they'll let you create an audio post or create a video post. You can yeah. set those up with plugins and to take advantage of that so that you're creating specific type of posts with default That's settings awesome. and things. So Yeah, like we talked about that a little bit with exhibit posts for like Marjorie Ock, mm -hmm. right? So Yeah. Um, distraction free editor. Have you ever seen this? I didn't know that this existed. In the visual editor now, there's a button to let you go full screen. And if you hit that button, it takes the visual editor, expands it full screen, gets rid of all the menus. You basically have a browser that's yeah. completely white and a box to type. It's in. like a it's like a word. Yeah. Right? And you can go you can move your mouse to the top and it'll let you insert the pictures and stuff, but when you move your mouse away, that stuff goes away again. Yeah. And it's just you typing out there. So it's it, kind of fun. It is. I mean, it, mm -hmm. and I like it. I mean, it's such a clean interface. WordPress has been so good to us. And, hey, shout out to Todd Conway and Brian Lamb yeah. um, for commenting. And that default plugin is really great. Now, Brian Lamb, we should have another show, and we should bring in Brian and uh, the folks at UBC because they came up with this great idea of just creating a completely open source solution for the network in general. Yeah. And for a university in general, it's kind of what we're doing with UNW.edu with WordPress. Right. And we can join forces 
And what we're starting to see now that we have people like Curtis Kamala, um, we have people like Ron and Andrea programming for us. Mm -hmm. um, we have you on now, <laughs> with the, right? I mean, really, you're going through the themes and you're starting to like yeah. solid. Like, we maybe are in a situation, we know what's happening at CUNY, UBC, mm -hmm. um, Duke is developing this stuff. Right. We come together and we say, here, here's an open source kind of platform and resources that you could like, Novak is really pushing, you could actually have an entire kind of right. university ecosystem of yeah. the social web at your fingertips, all open source. Yeah. And that's to me is like, I'll deal with and structure Canvas right now in place of Blackboard. Sure. So that we can get to that. Like right. to me, that's completely a stepping stone. Like, yeah, I'll deal. They're great open source, your little yeah. LMS, fine. But that's the next step. Yeah. In my mind. Yeah. The other thing, you mentioned the themes. Yes. So I wanted to pull up here. We've talked about some like really ugly themes that we've still got in there. <laughs> I mean, we have yeah. over These are like James Farmer well, theme we have like themes. Over, <laughs> we had over 180 themes. Like this one was the default theme way back when Kubrick. Do you, so you Kubrick. remember like way back yeah. 2.0 WordPress, this is what a default theme looked like. And so a lot of people are using these themes where they have very, you know, small width, you know, because yeah. they were for monitors that could only fit a certain That's size. Right. But, and, you know, the capabilities of WordPress are so much greater now to where I found this one called Academica, which oh. is like a full-on mm. content management system looking yeah. thing. This really shows off the idea awesome. that you can make a whole website in WordPress and no one would have that, you know, you yeah. wouldn't look at a site like this and say, oh, that's a blog. And that's yeah. why I'm really glad that you're on now here and just say, because We've been like spread so thin, mm -hmm. and I was dealing like like this is stuff that we didn't really do. Right. And like sitting down for a month now and looking through the themes, and you have a lot of awesome like the Melville theme I'm using now. Yeah, but we have a lot of awesome new themes, plugins like really tighten up you and the blogs so that you know mm -hmm. when we start doing more stuff with the media and pushing the other stuff that we're doing like the radio and the TV. Right, that's the platform. And we don't even think about it. It's like air. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, you can go as, you know, complex as this. That's the beauty of WordPress is you can yeah. get really granular and do a lot of cra crazy things. Or there's another one here, Theophilus. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen nice. that. No. It's so minimal, but like yeah. the typography is nice. It's using HTML5. It's using, you know, open web standards. So it's loading quickly. There's no bad code in there. Yeah. You know, these are the kind of themes that I want to see us pushing forward and having people right. use, not things I like was, Kubrick. No, and, I, and I'm partially to blame because I love the old like K2 and Kubrick. And yeah. I kept them in there because I was kind of of the mindset like, hey, this is what WordPress started with. Right. But you're classics. absolutely right. Yeah. Get rid of them. Yeah. Well, I mean, my biggest concern, and there are some that are classics that still work well and work fine. 2010 is going to be for the you know uh, several like, years on. Yeah, it, I like it, it's a good a default, and WordPress actually just doubled down on it. They they well, updated it to HTML5 speaking of and themes, fixed it. I mean, what we need to do, and this is another reason to kind of we need a different show on this, but we have talked with Novak at UBC and his crew, and they're developing a specific theme full WordPress that basically allows a department or a group to go in there and customize the whole thing down the line. Yeah. And it's like a theme they developed kind of based on the frameworks like Genesis and Thesis and stuff, mm -hmm. but its own thing. Yeah. And like, I would love, like, he was like, oh yeah, you can use it. It's like, we can lend it to you. We just got to kind of clean up a couple of things. It's like, what if we have all these awesome themes, but then have this one theme or several kind of two or three themes mm -hmm. that people go in there, they do it for their department and bam. Right. And then that kind of blurry line between UMW and UMW mm -hmm. blogs comes home. Yeah. Which to me is where I want it to go. I want to blur that line. It's Some, already blurred. Yeah. Someone on Twitter also mentioned the Weaver theme, so we'll have to take a look at that awesome. one. Awesome. I haven't seen it, but um, yeah. take a look at that. AJ. Sure. That's right. Thank you, AJ. Yeah. Awesome. And Todd Conaway. Um, what the hell is the screw tape letters? I haven't seen it. Kind of huh. like the screw tape. Oh, we, we love you though. Theme? And hey, thank you for commenting on these through Twitter. I yeah. just love what you've done with that. Theme. It's cool. It's awesome. It's all right. All right. That's probably enough WordPress for today. I think it is. Yeah. All right. See you all next time. Take care. DTLT today. For life. For life. Thank you.